All right, this is on our dry erase board. And it says, know yourself, know your enemy. If you cannot see their face, they have something to hide. Now, to carry on with this. Hi, guys. That's how we kind of look at everything around us here. And let's see, the light's kind of getting here. We look at everything that way. Now, you've heard me talk about the government being terrorist, and they are. They have applied sanctions to the United States of America. Um, the Bureau of Land Management is now kicking Native Americans off of their, off of some land they used to put up a DQ university for the Native Americans' people. Um, pretty soon, the Indians will be kicked off the res, joining you on this for us. Um, we are negotiating with terrorists, if you haven't realized that by now. Um, but there's something else I need to say. There's a lot of distractions put out there right now while things are going crazy. Now, I went on a spiritual journey. That's why that is wrote up there on that board. I've been on a couple of them. Actually, everybody in this house has. I went on one to meet YouTubers. There's some I was supposed to meet that were kind of guru people. And I never got to meet them. They never showed their face on YouTube. They set themselves high up on YouTube to say the right things. But you never saw their eyes or their face. They had the words, the right words, and seemed to know everything. But you never got to meet them. Never. That's happening a lot. It's happened ever since I've been on YouTube, which is from 2007 from my original channel. I've went out to meet YouTubers, and those who will not show you their face or their eyes have something to hide. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because every year, um, was it last year, Elenin? This year, we have the Comet Ison. There has been many comets and asteroids and Planet X's and... Nibiru's coming around in specific dates and nothing's ever happened. They were distractions. And while people were distracted with, with either that side of it and the Mayan calendar, there were other people saying, um, well, we're in the end days and you better get right, but you never saw these people's faces. They knew everything. They even prayed on YouTube. I found that offensive. Because I was stuck in an Indian school, two of them. One was Catholic, one was Baptist. And I actually just went and talked to a Christian guy today. I needed to, he was very Christian. He doesn't go to church. Well, actually, he does off and on. And I asked him about Jesus. And he said, anyone who prays on YouTube is not listening to the words of the Creator. And he uses that for my sake. He said, because you should do that in private. It's a humbling thing. It's an honorable thing to pray. And you don't pray for, you know, look at me. You pray because you need to pray from within your heart. And when you're praying to an audience, it cannot come from your heart. Unless you're speaking from your heart and you have to be prepared. We discussed how some people are saying they know everything. I've actually had some of those people on my channel that know exactly everything that's going to happen that have left me plenty of personal messages. I've had to ban them. They even tried to tell me how to be an Indian. Um, I'm not worried about Comet Ison. I would like to see it. I hope that we're not chemtrailed or cloudy. It's a monsoon season for us. But I'm going to get past that now and tell you that we're going to have to set up I mean, we've got the truckers, they're going to roll in on Washington, D.C., and that's a mighty awesome thing. And we got bikers and veterans joining them, and now we've got to step up. Like I said, we're negotiating with terrorists. They wrote stuff on paper to my ancestors, and they've never kept their word. And if they sign something with the U.N., you don't. You is not given by your consent. You're not bound by that. I'm just telling you how it is. You are not bound by that. 
They did not do that in the name of you. They did that in the name of the empire system, which must fall. Now, I say that every state sets up a tribunal, maybe even every county, or even local, you know, just local areas, and we decide and get together on what we want to do with the terrorists. I do not think the military will take action against us if we were to do this, because they have families here too, and I'm sure they don't like the sanctions being put against Americans, the women and children and the elderly, and the Affordable Care Act, which is there to control you and make money off of you at the same time. It's kind of a cognit cognitive dissidence disorder. This was supposed to be the great way for medical science, and instead it's hurting people financially and medically. So that's just a, pff, we'll get rid of that, don't worry. All I'm saying is, know your enemies. And there's some on YouTube too that could be your enemies you don't know unless you've went out to meet YouTube people before. If you can't see their face eye to eye, if it, you know, I, I've had some comments on my page, well, I don't have a camera. That's understandable. Some of these big sites, the people won't put their faces up because I don't know the reason. If it's because they're vain, then you don't need to be listening to them anyway. Hey, look, they said the Indians were the ugliest people on earth, the first people who colonized America. I'm one of the ugliest people on earth, so I don't understand why they won't put their faces up. Now, I want to say one quick thing about Adam Kokesh. Adam Kokesh is in jail. He had a good idea going to Washington. It might have set him in their place a little bit. But for some reason, something happened where people wouldn't follow. And I'm not saying follow, because it was their, their decision, and there was a group of them that were going to. And as I can see, he proved himself a perfect exemplar. He held to his word all the way to the end, and now he sits in jail. He showed no fear. He is a warrior. How many warriors are there out there? If you're fearing something, you're just fearing the death of your body. We're all going to die. I have a newsflash. Now, if you're sitting idly on the sidelines, hoping someone's going to save you, unless you participate in helping others and future generations, no one's going to save you. And as a future ancestor, you're not going to be looked on very good. And I'm just telling you, it's time for all of us to stand up. Know your enemies, even on YouTube. Know your enemies in the government. No negotiation with terrorists. And let's come up with some solutions now. Guys, I love you all. And it doesn't matter your religion, your color, your race, your sex life, none of that. Let's just come up with solutions. Peace.